It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Grown Art Family. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a a review on drawing models. So this is a Figma drawing model. I bought this cheap on on eBay, twelve dollars or so. And I, and you know when it's cheap, you can. It's likely you're risking it to be you know inauthentic, you know not real, fake. So <clears throat> so yeah, this. It seems like this was uh, inauthentic, and I believe the real ones cost around sixty or seventy dollars. However, don't quote me on that. Someone did tell me that. So yeah. So I wanted to try out these models, even if they were, even if they were inauthentic. So yeah, I tried it out, and later on in this video, you're gonna see some of my remarks about it. And so here, here's the uh, the packaging that it came with. The, the packaging that it came with, it looks like it can be easily altered because, you know, it, it's not it's not a very complex packaging because you can just easily, uh, for example, slip this right out and then alter a little bit, you know, and just put some tape. The box doesn't feel like uh, it was uh, really well packaged at all. So, yeah, it, it just felt like it could easily be altered. And, you know, you could put a used model and then easily wipe it off as something new and so and as you see here like uh i've had this for a few like a, a week or so and you can just see there's this little crack so the proportion of of this doesn't really fit into that very well so yeah that's something to keep in mind and so and also when I purchased a, a different version of the Figma, I purchased the female version, uh, it didn't really come with a head. I mean, it did come, it come with, it came with a head. However, the head was detached from the packaging. So the head, so when I saw it, I, I saw it headless, you know, and I was looking for the head and it turned out it was somewhere near the bottom of the packaging. So, you know, the, the head was attached and so it came like that. Uh, it's still movable, you know, it's still movable. You can still do your poses, etc. And so now I personally don't feel that I need pose posable drawing models anymore because I have an understanding on of poses on and then where to position the human being and also an understanding of anatomy. So I've, I've studied it, I've studied the muscles, etc. So, you know, now I, I just don't have the need for you know these kinds of uh, these posable things however if you're a beginner or so you know these can serve as training wheels for you to evolve at the same time you want to study some kind of anatomy and have and study the uh study the figure from imagination so i'll have a, a great tutorial on that which will be linked in the description below and so Although I feel that I'm, I may not be using these very often, I feel that uh, there's a model for me out there, which is pretty expensive and it's a lot more anatomically, anatomically detailed, a lot more, a lot more information to be obtained from it. So it's more so a realism model, and you know, if you're seeing the the video, you'll see a a picture of it, and you'll see like how you know anatomically detailed it is compared to something like this which i feel is a lot more useful although it isn't posable i i don't have need find the need to do anything that's posable i just require something of an angle so i can like change the angles look at something from a certain angle and then i can reinvent it within the job and so i had also purchased the body cone and this is the body coon. So body coon came with a lot more accessories, a lot more hands, as opposed to the uh, the uh, the Figma, the Figma model. And so, however, the Figma model, you know, the, the pros of the Figma model is that it's a lot more anatomically detailed, uh, and you know, the cons, I guess, it comes with a lot less accessories. And for the body coon, it's it's a lot less anatomically detailed compared to the uh, the Figma. However, it comes with a lot more hand accessories. 
you know, and I purchased these really cheap and you know, they're likely fake, but you know, I just wanted to just try them out. And so that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to join the family by hitting the subscribe button or caressing the subscribe button and also click the notification button as well. And if you want to master the mannequin from imagination, again, I'll have a link in the description in the video below. It's really helpful and it's from a different YouTuber. So I highly recommend to master the mannequin from imagination. You won't regret it. You'll thank me later. Peace out.